attitude indicator is one of your gyro-driven instruments. There are several different versions of this instrument, but they all have the same principle in common. Most of the variations are very subtle. The attitude indicator is not a required instrument for VFR flight. However, it is incredibly important and is required for IFR flight. In other videos, I teach more about the inner workings of this instrument as well as its practical use. But for now, let's just stick to the basics and learn how to read it. The attitude indicator, otherwise known as the artificial horizon, is the one single instrument on your aircraft that not only shows both pitch and bank information, but does this instantaneously and very accurately. With the traditional round gauge or steam gauge as we call it, this instrument will be a gyro driven instrument. It may be powered by DC electric or AC electric by using an inverter, but typically, especially in training aircraft, this instrument is vacuum or pressure driven. In a glass cockpit, the attitude indicator is electronically driven. These newer versions of the attitude indicator are very reliable and not prone to tumbling. Let's begin with discussing what all attitude indicators have in common. Most attitude indicators will have pitch references that will be numbered for you. They will also have bank indications in increments of 10, 20, and 30 degree increments, as well as 45, 60, and 90. Every indicator will have some representation of the horizon, typically separating a blue sky and a brown or black earth. Each indicator has a representation of your aircraft in some manner that will help you to visualize your relative attitude. Your best friend for pitch is the center point of that airplane representation. No matter what angle of bank you have, the center dot of that representation or the tip of the delta-shaped representation will define your pitch. This is important whether you are trying to maintain your altitude in a turn or your pitch in a climb or descent. The pointer on the top of the indicator will precisely display your bank angle as defined by the various bank indicating lines. Some indicators have what is commonly known as a sky pointer. This simply means that the pointer will always point towards the sky. This can be a little confusing when you first start to use one as it seems backwards from the traditional pointer. If you ever run across one of these, just remember to use the airplane representation for your bank and only pay attention to that pointer for the precision of your bank angle once you are established. A glass cockpit or AHARS attitude, heading, and reference system will have the attitude indicator as the background in the entire window but will read the same way as the older steam gauge. The more sophisticated indicators will have additional instruments such as a flight director overlaid on the representation, and you can see this in many forms, but that will be a discussion for another time.